Hello YouTube, just uh, making a video about a thought that suddenly came to my mind, literally, excuse me, literally out of the blue, um, so if you watched my other video about the extraterrestrial experience I had, um, it's a pretty long one, so I'm going to just save you the time if you don't feel like watching it or going to search for what I'm specifically going to be referring to here. But in that video, I made the discernment or the uh, the proclamation, the statement, if so to speak, that what we call emotions is what we truly are. And if the more and more that we understand about what emotion truly is and all that it encompasses I believe the more powerful in every single facet and meaning of that word we will become as a species like truly I really think that's the case because our emotions encompass everything like an obscene amount of stuff and the more that we come to understand that phenomenon that's responsible for emotion, which I believe, I sincerely believe to be something directly linked with what we call quantum. And if you know anything about quantum, quantum encompasses everything about every single facet of reality. Every single thing. Everything touches quantum or is pretty much directly controlled by it. And emotion is that in a very big way. But it's not just that as we understand it today. You understand? <laughs> I know it's kind of like a topsy-turvy comment to say. But it's essentially what I'm saying. And in that world... In that world where we've, where we've come to understand emotion deeply, intrinsically... In that world... It will be the inverse of what it was in the past. What do I mean by that? I mean, in the past, men, the patriarchy, ruled supreme. Because it was very harshly, crudely material in a way. But in the future, if we don't end up destroying ourselves or going extinct or something seriously bad happens like that and we come to understand more deeply and intrinsically this thing we call our emotions our feelings our emotionality our emotive when we come to truly understand that in such a world where we are able to summon stuff up out of thin air all because of our understanding of this thing we call emotion in that world only one outcome can truly be discerned. And that is, it'll be an inverse of what it was in the past. That is to say, women and their indescribable link, bond that they have with emotion, women and that, that, that superiority that they have over men, over that intrinsic understanding of emotion, women will come to reign supreme. So it will be the inverse of what it was in the past. It will quite literally be a matriarchy. But you just put everything we, ha we have of our stupid, ill-informed, ignorant opinion of the past, let go of that completely because it's not going to fucking come with us into the future. What's going to come in the future is going to be unlike anything else. And all that stupid shit, all these political ideologically charged opinions, they don't they won't mean dick anymore in the future. And women will reign supreme. Actually, just as competently, no, way more competently than men have in the past. Women will reign supreme and make everything that men have made a joke. 
if they let go of the past. Women just need to let go of the past. Actually let it go. And when they come to understand emotion, just as men have come to understand the material and thing-oriented mentality that they evolved in our minds because of it, women will have their own version of that, but with emotion and with the quantum that it's intrinsic, intrinsically linked to. And they will quite literally become masters of molding this reality. And as a result, they will come to rule over the reality as their own specific new novel form of matriarchy. But they can't do that if they don't let go of the past. I wholeheartedly agree this. I agree with it. I wholeheartedly believe this. Wholeheartedly, 100%. Can hold my feet to whatever fire, put me under whatever interrogation, I will mirror this belief 10 times out of 10 every single time. And so when you see me being online, if you're the one kind of person to ever follow my activity online, I'm not sure how you would, but if you see one of my user handles and be like, oh yeah, that's that one guy I saw on YouTube, blah, blah, blah. If you ever make that connection and you see me online expressing an opinion that's like, in other words, misogynistic, but not really, it's just me being disappointed, really, in women and how they're acting nowadays. Fragile, all about the fifis, going after tall dudes, trying to play out the whole daddy dom little girl thing. That's all hindering them. What they have to understand is that is all a major impediment, a hindrance upon them waking up. Just as men have woken up, but in a much more waking up kind of way, if you get my meaning. Because emotion is all that we truly are. It is all that we truly are, this thing we call emotion. We just don't understand it enough. And it is so obscenely powerful and capable. I think there is some intrinsic part of women that understands that. And it's scared of it. Women are quite literally scared of themselves. Why do you think they constantly go after a taller guy that's taller than themselves and then they make the statement of feeling protected? If that doesn't cue you in. Feeling protected from who? He's just taller than you. So who is he protecting you from? You want the person to be taller than the person that they're protecting you from. Taller than you? Oh, they're protecting you from yourself. There's this old game I played called Parasite Eve. And in the beginning, the little beginning reel that they play right before it gets to the video game title, they say one saying. I'm not sure where the saying goes. It's pretty much an anonymous saying that just came out of nowhere, but it says the greatest foe lies within the self. That's where women are right now. They don't want to move any further because they're scared of themselves. And I get it because I share this weird type of intrinsic bond with the feminine. And I'm not feminine at all, as you can see. I'm just like a normal dude. Weird. Maybe weird, but I'm just a normal dude. But I share this weird type of intrinsic bond with the feminine. And I understand it. Because I'm very... I don't want to toot my own horn, but... I'm what they, a person would call intelligence. Very observant, very perceptive, all that stuff. To an obscene degree, I think. To where if they were to gauge it today, I don't think I would register on most charts. Because it's just like, that's how novel 
I think my thinking is, you know, like I've been going far and I've been traveling high and low, far and wide to try and find somebody who like mirrored my thinking exactly. And like, I can't even get close with anybody in all of history. There's little tidbits here and there, but it's very hard pressed that I come to somebody who's like mirrors my thinking to a sufficient degree. And so I get it. That's scary. That's real scary. Women are scared of that potential that's in them. And they don't know it explicitly. But implicitly, intrinsically, the deepest part of them knows it. They just want to be protected from that. They want to be protected from themselves. And that monstrous potential. Because emotion is all we are. And women without a doubt, share a very unique, distinct, and inexplicable bond with emotions. And that might have come, unfortunately, from the tribulation of neuroticism, which has caused all kinds of woes in our current life. If I don't know if you know it already, but neuroticism, whew, you can't spell neuroticism, as I say, without the word Rot. R-O-T. Can't spell neuroticism without the word rot. And that's all I'll say about that. But because of that tribulation, that strife, they've come to understand emotion in a much more deep, distinct way than most men have. And it's only by a fluke that I have arrived at the same level as most other women because of the relationship I have with depression. Which depression, I'm pretty sure, is just like neuroticism malfunctioning and creating... Because that's all depression is. It's just negative emotion to an extreme. <laughs> so I have that specific type of relationship that's similar with women have with, you know, emotion and negative emotion because of my depression. I understand it now. I understand it 100%. This emotion thing is, there's much, 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 much more to it than we give it credit for. Like an insane amount. You have no idea. What we see, what we taste, what we see, what we perceive can be changed entirely to the point where one person will see one thing and then another person will see something entirely different just because of emotion. Just because of emotion. What we perceive with 100% acuity will change. Just because of emotion. And women have a deep intrinsic understanding of that. So what will the world look like whenever we're able to change the very world around us. Based on this weird ephemeral essence that constitutes our reality that's underlying our emotion women would be masters of that women would be masters of that because of the tribulation that they went through with their neuroticism and so that's why I tend to be upset or get mad at them when I see them still trying to play out this stupidity Going after tall dudes. Trying to play out the old, oh, little, little bitty me being protected by big daddy boyfriend. No. It's not going to get you anywhere. You might be able to fool yourself, but you can't fool your mind. Because your mind is smarter than you. It has to be. It knows what you're doing. It knows what you're playing. It knows what you're trying to do. And while it can't go against you, it's not going to give you what you want from that because you want it. No, it's going to give you what you deserve, what you get from that. You're not going to get the, you know, the, the, the solution of six from an equation that's two plus two. No, you're going to get four every goddamn time. Doesn't matter what you want. You can't have your cake and eat it too. You need to choose a side. You need to choose one. You can't have both. 
It's not how it works. It never was how it works. Which is why it stopped working. What is it? I'll leave it to the females to decide. What that is for them. Woman will reign supreme in the future. Mark my words. They just got to grow up first. And whether they want to grow up is going to be up to them. No one else. That's it for now. Thank you.